MJ19 P41 Q7. The circuit for inverting amplifier. Oh, they already told you inverting. So nice. Incorporating an ideal op amp is shown. Very good. Now you can see how you know inverting. Well, from V in potential all the way to V out, you don't go to actual ground. You just go to virtual ground, such as this one right here. This what we call virtual ground, where you have to be at zero volt. Why? Ah? Because the other pin is at zero volt ground. So you have to try to match that. So the feedback loop will make sure both are roughly at zero volt. Anyway, uh, first part. Explain why the point P is known as virtual earth. We just talked about virtual earth, which is the one in the red part. So this one, you have just have to memorize the facts if you're not very sure how to start. So point number one, you need to mention that the op M gain is very large. Infinity. Very, very big. So why is that a problem? Well, we don't want that to saturate. So for amplifier not to saturate, what must happen? Both inputs must be the same. So the feedback loop will try to adjust V minus until it is the same as V plus. So let's write that down. Want to saturate. So you need V plus to be roughly very close to V minus. And who will do this job? The feedback loop will ensure that these two uh, will be roughly the same. That's the purpose of the feedback loop. So what is V minus? Oh, so uh, you can continue the sentence. So for amplifier not to saturate, this is full stop, next. To saturate, comma, uh, V plus must be pretty close to or equal to V minus, which is zero volt. They have to be near zero volt, which is zero volt potential, which is earth. Because one of the input already earth ma, this one earth leo, already earth zero. So the other one also try to adjust to be roughly zero volt. So I put here roughly. Then only your FM can function properly like amplifier and not just infinity, speed out infinity, negative infinity. No, 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 no. You want it to be a nice gain. So this one only got three marks. One, two, three. You know, sometimes they give four and sometimes they give three. Well, what to do? Three B1 marks for each of these points. Calculate the gain of the amplifier. Oh boy. What's the equation again? Ah? Can memorize. Ah? This is a inverting amplifier. So you need to know the gain is V out over V in. But there's a specific equation for inverting amplifier that is negative RF over R1. Now which one is RF? Which one is R1? Ah? You have to look at the diagram. Oh. So we go back up to the diagram. How do you know which one is the feedback resistor? Firstly, where is your feedback loop? The feedback loop you need to see is from the output connect back to the input. Oh, you see this feedback loop? So this will be your feedback resistor. Ah, Then the other one will be R1. No? So this is R1. So we need to divide RF over R1. 5.2K over 0.8K. Let's write it down. So this one, the gain, you want to find the gain, how many times larger is your output. That one will be dependent on the resistor, 5.2K or 5200 ohm over 800 ohm. This will give you negative 6.5. So you just write here, negative 6.5. Go unit one, ah. gain, no, it's just a ratio. Ratio of resistor. And then here ohm, here also ohm. Ohm divided by ohm gone. So no unit. The in negative here is important because it tells you that this is an inverting amplifier. That's why I got negative. Huh? So final mark, sub into equation, one mark. So you must remember this equation. Huh? Either write down your notes or know how to derive it even better because they can ask you to derive it. Now the last part of this question is the one that's really tricky. You have to think a few steps ahead. Let's see. When the op amp is saturated, ooh, this word rings a bell. What does it mean? The potential difference across the LED is 2.3 volt. Calculate the minimum resistance of the resistor so that the current in the LED is limited to 3.0 MA. What? Let's, let's rewind a little bit. When the op amp is saturated, potential difference across the LED is 2.3. So if I want to draw... LED here is 
0.3 volt. And they are asking me what is the resistance R so that the current in the LED is 30 MA. So this whatever current here can only be 30 MA. Wow, this is tricky. How do I know which direction the current is flowing? I mean, I don't need to know, but it'll be nice to know. So what does it mean the op M is saturated? Saturated means the output of the op M has gone larger than your power supply. Oh, oh, okay, let's look at the diagram. Saturated, what does that mean? So you have some kind of output. Eh, output will be over here. Output. Saturated already. So is it positive 5 or is it negative 5? I don't know. But let's pause there. We want a current through the LED. So LED only let current flow in one direction, which is this way, down. Diode ma, LED is a diode. So if down there is already ground, 0 volt, means up there must be some positive value. I don't know what, what value, la, positive value. Because current flow from high to low. So if the op M is saturated, means the output is kind of limited to either 5 or negative 5. Which one do you think it is? It has to be 5. Why 5? Because we have to have a positive output here. A potential of 5 volts so that current can flow from top to bottom. Oh, okay. So output must be 5. Saturated, ah? Saturated, so we just pick 5 already. So we are trying to find what is the resistance R. How do we find the resistance R? Means not enough information, are you sure? Do we know this voltage by any chance? Let's redraw this question. If we can find V, we can find R. Because V equals to IR for that resistor. So we know what we want for current. We don't know R. We don't know V. Can we find V? Let's redraw this part in the diagram over here. So give me a second. So here's the diode. We know come in is plus 5. Must over eventually drop down to 0. And we know potential difference across the LED is... What idea? 2.3 volts. So if you want to find this V... You need to know that this V, let's write it down, V equals to 5 volt minus 2.3. They share share potential ma. You drop from 5 to 0. So the total drop is 5 volt. This whole thing is 5 volt drop. So if you already drop 2.3, what else is there to drop? Okay, so this one will be 2.7 volt drop. You check and see, 2.7 plus 2.3 is equal to 5? If yes, then you're correct. Okay, so the share share potential, okay, you drop, I drop, drop down to 0. Next, you want to find the current. The, 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 the resistance will help protect the resistance. Resistor will help protect the LED so that the current is not too big. This current, we want it to be maximum 30 milliamps. Flowing this way. So we need to do VIR for the resistor. So for resistor, we know V equals to IR, which is our good old Ohm's law. We know now that the potential drop across the resistor is 2.7. So current will be 30 milliamp and the resistor we can find. Resistance of the resistor we can find. So this one should give us 90 Ohm. So we write here 90 Ohm. Three marks. Wow, this question a bit trapped here and trapped there. Final answer is one mark, of course. One mark comes if you know 2.7. Did you know that you have to find this PD? And the other mark is, do you know what it means to be saturated? Saturated means your output will be 5 volt. So this is the other mark. Okay, so I'm going to write this in, a, in another sentence. At saturation, when your op amp already saturated, or 
Then your output is the power supply, which is 5 volts. That's how we know it's 5 volt in the first place. Okay, so that's all for this question. Wow, it's not too long, but it's kind of tricky as well. Eh? Okay, so go and check out some of the more examples. There are quite a few more for you to practice. Uh, and if you're not sure, always go back to your notes. The most you need to do is some calculation like this. You need to know your potential divider. You need to know facts to memorize. And of course, the equations to calculate gain for both type of amplifier. So that's all for this video. I will see you in the next one.